Good evening and welcome to Off the Lip, the show about surfing and skateboarding. If you'd like to join the show tonight, give us a call at 831-479-1080. That's 831-479-1080. And now, here are your hosts for tonight's program, Neil Pearlberg and Terry Campion. Good evening and welcome to the Off the Lip radio show broadcasting from... Santa Cruz, California. Santa Cruz, California. Like that enthusiasm? You are enthusiastic tonight. Mm-hmm. Is Christmas that? is over. You I'm happy. Say, Christmas is over <laughs> and you need to get to the gym. I do. I went last night and they were closed, by the way. You huh. knew that, though. You went no, I did not. I drove all the way down there. You holiday did? hours, they said. <laughs> like, what you what do? the heck is that? You uh, I actually went to, the sh- to uh, Paradise Grill and had a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> 197 myself. Wow. Under 200. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> in studio tonight, our guest is... Uh, does, he do, does he need an introduction? Well, no. You go ahead and say it. First off, yeah. I'm just going to say that tonight on the show, yes. we have um, one of my dear friends. Yep. One of the pride of Santa Cruz. Yep. One of the premier big wave surfers. One of the hardest working people in surfing. And a damn good dad. Ken Skindog Collins is in the house. <laughs> and we're going to find out about the, We're going to find out about the uh, world's greatest dad title because in, also in studio is his daughter, Ayana. Mm-hmm. So we're going to find out about that, how good he is from well, coming from the horse's mouth. Sometimes the bad dads are good. <laughs> True. Best ever. Because mom, mom comes in and mops him up afterwards, you know. And so I'm kind of a product of that. Kenny, I have nice a great you, role buddy. model. Kenny. I got a great role model. TC is one of the best dads in the business <laughs> and one of the greatest reps in the business. Wow, look at that. Was he a role model? Totally. He, I, I became a rep because of TC. That's right, huh? He wouldn't give me any free stuff. He told me I should be a rep and get it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, is that he, uh, I met Ken surfing back in the, I would say mid-80s probably, and uh, he was working for Bob Pearson, spraying boards. Great. I mean, uh, I actually, I don't think, Ken gets a lot of credit for your 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 airbrushes were uh, ahead of their time. I felt like you know Flea and a lot of the publicity they got was the the coordination of airbrush wetsuit color. Oh yeah, every one of those guys had their own custom spray that was yeah. their spray. Yeah, and it, and it worked, and and Ken was responsible for that. But as we know, Skin Dog can talk. Oh yeah, and oh. I was like. Skinny, you talk, but you're stuck in this paint booth painting surfboards. Yeah. You should be out in the world talking. Yeah. T- TC would come over and he'd be walking by the room and he'd start talking. We'd be talking for like a half hour and he's all, man, you talk <laughs> you, so much. And I'm all, yeah. well, you can walk on out of here. And he's all, dude, you should be a rep. <laughs> you can, if you can out talk TC. <laughs> you could. <laughs> you know, I'm like, you, you are can, natural at this. If you can out talk TC, yeah. you are automatically a rep. Now he's all grown up and he's raised a family and bought a home here. And it's all it. through, you know, being a, a career rep and doing right. a good job. Hey, listen, repping is not easy. Skin dog, you know this. You're not guaranteed your job. Yeah. You keep your job because you do a good job. Right. And that's how this, the world of sales works. Well, the fact is, too, like you're doing this job with many shops. And like there's about, you know, 10 shops in Northern California that pay all your bills. But you have to work with the other 50 guys that are hardcore. And it's humbling because they're really hard gnarly. And you go into Santa Cruz boardroom, all those guys are gnarly skaters. And they're just like gnarly. <laughs> they're cool or whatever, but they'll heckle the heck out of you. Like the, <laughs> there's not a lot of shops that are doing that anymore. But, you know, so you have to just butt in your lip and do it and right. it's rad because um you know like that philosophy is, is what keeps the longevity because if you just work with the top 10 guys you're going to be out in a year right. or two the 80 20 know? rule now with that in mind you are the northern california and northern nevada rep for volcom correct and um and how long let's just get a quick history how long have you been with volcom i've been a rep for 21 years i've been with volcom for going on 17 years that's a long time for a rep. Long time with the company. Dude, yeah. are you kidding me? Like the, yeah. to work for a company in general over ten years is like a yeah. blessing, and just, like no one does that anymore. Right. Like, right. Because there's employees who work there that is are as old as you have worked there. Oh yeah. You know, and that's that's when you know. What do they call them? They call them granddad. What do you think they call them? I don't know. The they, veteran. Well, yeah, the veteran. Well, yeah. uh, you know what? I'll tell you something. In the waning years of me being a rep, I remember meeting this guy, and uh, he was new. It was his first day on the job. I've been working for this company for 17 years at the time. And he looks at me and goes, first day I met him, this is what he said, you're old, and I hope you bought real estate. That's what he said to me. The first day I met him, 
at this job. He said that? He said that. So, did, I mean, we're in an industry where... Did you sit him back in his seat? Did you put him back in his place? Well, the good news is, yeah, I own real estate, and he yeah. doesn't. Right. And he's now my age. Well, the funny thing he's is... He's my age now when he told me that. It's funny thing is there's a lot of guys that don't sit there and go, oh, yeah, yeah, you're getting old. Your brand's done. I'm like, oh, you're going to be working at Best Buy in five years, kids. So shut <laughs> it. You know? And then nine out of ten times, it's what happens because it's hard. <laughs> Ayana, it's true. Mm-hmm. Can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. Are you nervous? Yes. No, you're not. This is easy. It's easy, very quick. What was the best Christmas present you got? Clothes. What kind of clothes? Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> right out of the <laughs> line. I didn't even pay her to say that. <laughs> was that an easy question? Yes. <clears throat> what was your okay? Out of the uh, what was the best thing you got? New snowboard gear. New snowboard gear. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I've Kenny, been seeing Kenny, the videos. Kenny, your best present, your best Christmas present was going up to the snow with my family. Okay. TC. Uh-huh. My best present? Yep. Um, my what best present was, you know, my father recently passed away, and we yeah. had the whole family at my mom's house. And honestly, yeah. the, the my best present was my mom um, being around her family at a really difficult time in her life. And right. I think oh. she really enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, you know, besides gifts or anything, you, you can't – there's no price to that. So, yeah. to me, that was the best part of my Christmas. Um, I got a car. Oh, you did? Yeah, I went to Toyota Santa Cruz and bought a 4Runner yesterday. You did? Off of Julie? Well, well she's she's in no, no 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 Julie's on vacation. No 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 no. She right now she's in Portland, Maine. No Portland, um, Oregon. Yeah, Portland, Maine. No no Portland, Maine. Stuck in a hotel, a crap hotel because Uh-oh. every it's been three thousand flights canceled across the country. Oh she right, can't get because out of the there. storms. Right. Well, the funny thing is, is and uh, anyone listening, you can take my uh, lead on this. Is I went there and I saw the car I wanted, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna wait for Julie to come back. Yeah, how'd that work? It worked great because I drove down the street and called them. And I said, "Hey, look, if you give me Julie's price, I'll come back and make a deal." So, so they called me back yeah. and gave me Julie's price. Yeah, and I went back and made a deal. And Dude, so, that that place, Santa Cruz Toyota, is gnarly. Like, I go there to return. Uh, I I go to get my oil changed and walk out with a new car all the time. It's right. Like, no. It's like they're all I'll get your price down. I can do this and that. And you're like, oh my god, dude. Well, you drive a Toyota, and you bought it at Toyota Santa Cruz. Yeah, I've yeah. driven probably 15 different Toyotas. <clears throat> yeah, and it's my first new Toyota, and yeah. it really is a nice vehicle. I'm yeah. really happy with it. It's a 4Runner, and it's um, I'm, re- I'm replacing the toaster. The street you live on, is there any r- room for anybody else's car? Because you've got like 15 of them. Come on. Gonna... No, no, no. no, no, no. I'm and a boat, boat too. <laughs> no, huh? And a boat. Well, the yeah. boat lives in the harbor. No, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 you it, know why? You know what? There's it's, no room for it on the street. <laughs> listen, it was it's it's a business thing. I had to lease a business car. My accountant said, hey, go get a car. So. Okay. There we go. Right. Me too. My best present. No. Oh, dude. I'm ready. My son gave me this new underwear called the package. Have you heard of those? Oh, with the keyhole. Yeah, the package. Yeah. <coughs> uh, I'm telling you, my son's like, my son Queen goes, different level. Ian Abel. Ian Abel's a rep for that. He gave me a pair of those packages, boy. What that do you think? Freaking amazing. <laughs> yeah, with the keyhole. Yep. You no, know, just you a package. It holds your package. You just yeah. tuck it right in yeah. there. Yeah. 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 No, I know. Un- well, you know, um, Stance. Yeah, big brand. Socks, yeah. They have a whole new line of underwear coming out. Oh, they do? Yeah, big bunch of different styles. Keyhole? Yeah. Un- oh, yeah. Underwear is the new sock. Okay. Just to let everybody know. It's hard because not many people wear underwear in this town. That's right. Well, in, unless, unless you sag, no one knows what the hell you're wearing anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you're listening to the Off The Dip Radio Show, KSCO. This portion of the show is brought to you by, remember this <clears throat> company, TC? I'm ready. They, keep it, they kept on going with their ad. Suga. Is, I, didn't, I thought it was sugar. It was Suga. This is for, this is for Suga? skinny. A manufacturer's a premium quality yoga mats made in the USA from 100% recycled wetsuits. Brilliant. Yoga mats made out of recycled wetsuits. Do we find out if they make an extra long yet? Uh, I'll find that up for you. I'm interested Short in that. Tall? The name Suga yeah, I, evokes the two world that straddles surfing and yoga and was developed in Thrives in Encinitas, California. <clears throat> Suga worked extensively with engineering experts to recycle these petrochemical-based landfill-clogging neoprene monsters into highly functional instruments of yoga bliss. Hmm. Get yours today at www.sugamats.com. I'm interested because I'm a yoga mat nerd. I was checking out Frosty's <laughs> site today. Yeah. And he yeah. had uh, he was he does suga, I guess, or hangs out with them because he had a suga mat. Really, I was really impressed hmm. on Frosty wear. Right. You do yoga, skin dog? Uh, no. No. What's your training ritual? What do you got going on? Cause you, you are a professional big wave surfer. I um, I I can't sit still and do yoga, but I do definitely do a lot of stretching and whatnot. But I I have a whole regiment of just training in the gym. Um, I have one of those inversion tables. I hang upside down like three times a day. Then I um, I see a chiropractor a lot. I have a season pass, so I don't just go in there when I, and I just go in there a lot all the time. And then I also have a rolfer that I do a series with a lot. And um, 
Brian Johnson, he's amazing, and then he does amazing body work where mm. he gets rid of scar tissue, which is a big part of big wave surfing. Yeah. And then also um, Scott Sawyer down at the chiropractor. He'll sit there and adjust me until I finally release a lot of that scar tissue or whatever it is, hold me back. How fit are you right now? After Christmas, I'm fit, but I'm about, I don't know, five or six, six ten pounds extra. But, yeah. but if they were to call Mavs tomorrow, are you ready? Yeah, I can do it. You ready to go? I'm always ready. Yeah. He's ready. I'm ready. We're ready for commercial. We're ready? Back up. It's very <laughs> short break. Don't go away. You. You. Whole body cryotherapy is a full body exposure to sub-zero temperatures to decrease inflammation, increase cellular survival, decrease pain and muscle spasms, and promote overall health and wellness. It is not a medical procedure in the U.S., but a non-invasive option for people seeking faster recovery, more energy, relief from aches and pains, better health and sleep, even skin beautification and weight loss. Widely used in training and wellness centers and spa-like settings throughout Europe, it's now here in Santa Cruz at Santa Cruz Cryotherapy located at 1220 41st Avenue, Capitol. Book your appointment today at santacruzcryo.com or call us at 831-288-2882 and mention this KSCO ad and receive a 10% discount off all package deals. And your introductory session is just $35. Hey, it's Julie from Toyota and Sign of Santa Cruz. I want to introduce you to our new slogan. Why drive over the hill when the big store is right next door? The all-new Toyota of Santa Cruz. You have to come check out this dealership. It is amazing. 50,000 square feet of state-of-the-art service and sales. Over 500 new, used, and certified pre-owned cars and trucks. And our number one commitment is to save you time and money. And you know what else we're proud of? Our customer service. And that's why you guys keep coming back. We take care of our customers. So get down there, check out the dealership, buy a car or a truck, make me happy, and have a great day. And we're back with the <clears throat> Off the Lip Radio Show. If you do want to call in tonight and talk to Kenny Skin Dog Collins, the phone number is 831 479 1080. Also, call the number three, gets free $25 or 20 bucks worth of free coffee from People's Coffee on 17th and Bromer. Good stuff. Call the number three. Gets the free cafe. That, word, that word free is so awesome. We've killed it. It's it thrown around there a lot, but it doesn't mm. really have any sting until something good's on. Right. Yeah, free you know. coffee. Everyone loves coffee. Well, free coffee. Eight three one four seven nine ten eighty. Really quickly, TC, you and I cannot sing. I don't imagine that that Kenny <clears throat> can sing. I know Ayana can sing probably like probably a bird. Probably great. Yeah. Like a bird. She's in the band. She's in the band. She plays which? Okay, which instrument does she play in the band? Saxophone. Very yeah, good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Santa Cruz Saxophone. Regiment High School okay. band. <laughs> Ayana, a history of you, 150 years old. Can you start us off, Ayana, by singing a little happy birthday to Chris over here? Chris, our engineer, it's his birthday today. Can you start off with a little happy birthday? And then, we'll, then your dad. We'll follow. We'll follow we'll behind you. you lead Remember, because I know your dad can't sing, and neither TC and I, we can't sing a lick. I'm terrible. You start, we'll follow. <laughs> yeah. Me, me, me. Go, 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 okay. go, go. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. To you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chris. Chris. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. I don't think Chris has missed a night, has he? I don't think Chris missed a night. Yeah, he, he missed his birthday. phone. That's Chris, our engineer. Yeah. Faithful engineer is here every show. He's been show. here every night, I think. Yep. Yeah. Rain or shine, if he's got his phone, lost his phone. How <laughs> small is Santa Cruz that he loses his phone and then TC gets it? I know. That's right. That's why we love this town. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> yeah, how do, how do we sound? You guys sounded awesome. <laughs> if the if the little girl wasn't there, <laughs> we would have been all over. That. Ken, uh, Kenny, that. Kenny, a good question. Most adrenaline-filled moment ever. Uh, Rick Tribble's Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's a great answer. With Dub Boys. <laughs> well, what year was that? That was this year, dude. Oh. <laughs> I, was, I was so hopped up on candy canes. 
I was really disappointed though because Ray Conte won that sweater contest, and I thought it. it you thought you had torpedoes? It, no, I thought torpedo got cheated out, and we got pumped up. And then we watched Luke Rockhold win. And that was why that party was so sick because uh, we we're watching Luke right. right hopped up on candy canes. Right. I thought and, you were gonna and, say Puerto Escondido. Oh, that was pretty sick. I'm pretty hyped there for sure. Two thousand one. No, no seven, s- seven, six, six. I one oh seven, but that, I, I was an 06. Puerto Escondido. Yeah. How many trips did you make this summer down there? Did you go? Zip zero. Is that your first year in a long time you haven't been to Porto? First year in 20 years that I haven't been to Porto. Because you have jet skis still down there, well, too? I got a jet ski. I don't even tow surf anymore. It's like I use it for like going on like adventures. Like some kid on Miami. I'll woo. <laughs> I, I, I like letting the little kids ride it down there. Like that's my thing. Like I'm like Santa Claus. I go down to, and I surf a spot, and then I let all these kids ride the jet ski, and they're not going nuts, and I'm watching them, and they're getting bumped by waves, and it's the best thing they've ever done in their life. Do they still allow tow it tow ins at Porto? Oh yeah. There's no rules. Like there's some no, places, there's no. No, the li- no rules. You but. have Mavericks where they the Noah stepped in and shut it down, but. Tell you the truth, um, I'm still over toe surf, and you get so beat up. It's like you can get the biggest wave of your life, but you're definitely going to get beat up. Right. Or in a case of like <clears throat> Adam Rapogel, because your feet are in a strap, look what happened to his – he broke his leg. Right. Oh, when yeah. He had one foot release and one knot. Yeah. That was that. what happened to uh, Jughead down at Ghost Trees back in 04, I think it was. It, he just did a bunny hop on the shoulder, and the wave – his back foot slipped off and just broke it in four places. Yeah. yeah. No, that's, a, a that's, a, that's the tough thing about that for sure. <clears throat> Can you, can you give us an update on Mavs this year to, um, to the audience, the listing audience worldwide? Um, Mavericks has had a couple of good days this year. We just yeah. had a, uh, a day about, I don't know what it was, about three weeks ago. And, man, was it pumping. It was big and ugly out there. and Guys were charging. And, um, yeah, did. we're just got El, El Nino hasn't even started yet. So it's like we're going to get this storm track hitting us in the next couple of weeks, and we're going to see a bunch of big waves coming in January and February. So Do you think they could have held the contest the other day, or do you think they're like, glad they waited, <clears> they're glad they're going to wait? They could have easily held the contest, but the problem is um, there might have been a black eight blackout date. And on top of that, they just had the Jaws event the day before, right? And that's like running a World Series the day after the, you know, after the Super Bowl, and you're going to lose a lot of excitement and whatnot. So it's probably a smart idea to wait and right. build up. And you want the three day build. Plus, it's uh, trying to get everybody there would be a real. Well, fiasco. the thing is, too, there was guys that were in the Mavericks event that were also in Jaws, and that wouldn't be fair. And I don't think they did that decision, but it just to me, it just didn't feel right. And it was also uh, looking really south windy, and in that morning there was a lot of south wind, and that first yeah. heat would have been just ugly. We took us about an hour to get a wave out there that morning, and it was just gnarly, so gnarly. TC, it says right here on my screen, Collins Kids. He has two. Who's this? Koa Collins. Oh, Koa. Whoa. Whoa. We have another. <laughs> whoa. Look whoa, out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> Who is this? Koa? What? Were you supposed to be here tonight? Yeah. What happened? You get in trouble? I know. Yeah, you were misbehaving. <laughs> <laughs> misbehaving got punished. <laughs> what no happened? Radio, no radio Co- station. Co- what'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you oh, get punished for? What, what happened? Nothing. <laughs> oh, I beg to differ. Hold yeah. everything. Okay, <laughs> Yana, what, ha- what do you do? What did Koa do? Well, Hang on, Koa. He takes himself every day. He beats did me he? up. He beats you up? <laughs> yeah. Is that what happened? Did yeah. you beat Koa? Did you beat your sister up? No. <laughs> Let's just put it this way. The kid's got a strong energy source. Uh, yeah. And would that be from his father? Yeah. I don't know. Probably, I think so. <laughs> Thanks, Cole, for calling, buddy. Thank you. Okay, we got Robert from Felton. Hey, Robert, what's going on? Hey, not much. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. You know, are you related to Kenny in any way? Because the rest of his family's called up. Uh, I don't believe so. All right, cool. <laughs> what's happening, Robert? Not much. Do you happen to have a... Go ahead. Yeah, you guys wanted Collins for coffee? Oh, yeah, somebody won it, though. Thanks, Robert. Somebody won it. Any questions for Skin Dog while we got you? Mm. I'll buy you a cup of coffee. (laughs) 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 Hey, Robert, call back soon. We really appreciate you giving us a call. Good luck next week with the coffee. Dude, look at that. We've got got, got a call from... Wait, this is... Kingi from Japan. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's my one of the torpedoes team riders. Who is this? Haro, Haro, Haro Kinji. Haro, Haro, Haro Kinji. 
<laughs> Interesting. Our phone, our phone, our phone says that this call is coming from Pleasure Point. <laughs> hello, hello, Kenji. Hello, hello, Kenji. Rinrod, you my idol. Break wrong, break wrong, cook. Break wrong, cook. You my idol. Ring rock, ring rock. Ah, thank you so one much, question. bro. One question. One question. One question. How you teeth so white? How you teeth so white? I don't smoke cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty oh. simple. Kenji, Mike, oh, Mike oh, Carlton. I thought, I thought, I thought American, American smoke. Cigarette, no cigarette, no cool. <laughs> you can. Bring out, bring out. You teach me surf. <laughs> you, you like Frosty. Mike Carlton. You write Frosty. You write Frosty. You my idol. Mm. Oh, oh boy. You got fans in Japan, Skinny. Nice job. This you guy definitely. Have you been writing for Torpedo Wear? <laughs> you write for Torpedo Wear? Yeah. Haro, haro, an. For kilo, for kilo, for kilo, for kilo. Duh, boys. Duh, boys. Yeah. Thanks, Kinji, for calling. We appreciate it. Call back with another from some other country soon. We oh appreciate man, it. that was Kinji. I'm from kind of Japan. disappointed. I expected to see more calls like that. Yeah. If you want to call and heckle, uh, Kenny Skin dot Collins. The phone number is the heckle line is eight three one four seven nine ten eighty. That is the heckle line. Oh boy, Travis, too much. My man. gosh, oh, for Okay, yeah. tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, Kenny. Tomorrow night, I had the mayor coming in, Cynthia Matthews. What question would you ask if you're sitting there with me? <laughs> I'm not going to get into that right now. You know? Ethan Bierman's not around right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but in, on that subject, <laughs> yep. Skin Dog, are you any happier with what's been going on in the? I would say crime drugs and homelessness in this town have you seen any change in the last two years you know what it's gotten worse and i'm really disappointed because i've watched it evolve i've watched like the street kind of vibe kind of diminish a little bit but now they're rolling in rvs and they're rolling it like i feel bad because i feel like i'm profiling a, an rv when i see an old rv with a bunch of bicycles stacked on top with you yeah. know like a bunch <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> didn't they ban all it? Our, didn't they ban it? an RV with all of our bikes on top? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like, I feel bad, like I'm profiling this poor, like you know, poor family that are just gonna go on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. didn't but you know what? I'll tell you what, though. Like, I feel like the city officials don't have a grip on this at all. But I feel like the biggest impact we've seen to counter that impact was. El Nino. They're doing a really good job. It's like 38, 33 degrees out at night. Right. Yeah. It's raining. raining. Those guys are heading on down to San, Santa, Santa Barbara. Monica, Santa yeah. Barbara, Santa Monica, mm -hmm. uh, Venice Beach, San Diego. It's like the whole, they're down the road. And we. it's been really bad for the last five years because in all reality, we've had an amazing five-year summer. Right? Yeah. We've had like yeah. 80 degrees. No. The, the, the camps on the river are really suffering right now for sure. Yeah. And, you know, in, in the same sentence, I'm going to say Santa Barbara's got the same problems mm -hmm. we have. You know, Not Santa like Bar our level, though. It's, it's pretty bad. I was in Santa Barbara recently, and I was like, man, they have a really bad problem. We have a problem because I don't think Santa Barbara has the services that we have. I just don't think they have the severity of the idiots. Like, every village has an idiot, and I think they're shipping them all here. Mm -hmm. and, right. And they're like, the bike theft, like, I pulled one over. I'm all, Dana, dude, that, don't you feel bad? Why don't you get a job? Get a job. It's easier. I mean, it's so much easier just to work. I really mm -hmm. do. I feel like that a lot of people don't even try. It's, but he's like, what are you talking about? This is so much work. This is so hard. To steal so bikes? It's so hard uh, taking these bikes apart. I'm, like, I'm looking, I'm going, oh, my God, this guy is completely convinced that he's working right now. And he is because he's getting paid. <laughs> right. right. He's got a full-time job. Right. And, he's, and it's like no one's arresting him. He's not going to chill. So he's actually got a full-time job, and he's working hard at so it. So tomorrow night. Neil, yes. Maybe we should ask the mayor about the rogue. Are you coming fleet, in tomorrow night? Are you the rogue, in? the rogue fleet of RVs that have invaded yeah. this they, town. Because some of these RVs, honestly, I don't right. think they could get over the hill. Did they ban them on the West Cliff? Did they ban them? No, no, they didn't. Well, they did. They banned nights. Right, nights. But the yeah. thing is right. that those guys park and sleep all day, and then around, you know, eight at night, they start rolling around stealing right. bikes all night, and right. then they go back to sleep at six in the morning at the yeah. land again. But that's not the real problem. It's like. Um, the, up the coast is another problem too. I was like yeah. trying to find a spot to check up at horseshoes and I couldn't find a spot because there's all these RVs parked there and I couldn't just pull up and check the waves because I was getting blocked out by campers. Right. Yeah. Ayana? Ayana? Mm -hmm. Ayana? Let me ask you a question, right? What's it like being the daughter of Kenny Skin Dog Collins? <laughs> Amazing. Really? Is that mm -hmm. because you're in the ice cream club? Ice Cream Surf Club. Yeah, oh, are you ice, in that? We're going to talk about oh, yeah. what you, the Ice yeah. Cream Surf Club is becoming 
very popular, very well known in Santa Cruz. Mm -hmm. What is the Ice Cream Surf Club? Well, we're sponsored by Yogurtland. You spo you you have a sponsor? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Yogurtland hooked us up. They did. Oh, what is, yeah. Okay, so what is? How do I get to join the Ice Cream mm -hmm. Surf Club? Or how does TC? How do we get to become participants? Well, you, you gotta surf. How many waves to the beach? Isn't there a rule to this? Five waves. To Five the waves to the beach. Five, that's, that's the rule. So that's first of all, do you like surfing? Yes. Do you like ice cream? Absolutely. You're, you're pretty in. much in the club. <laughs> you're in the club. <laughs> okay, you're gonna. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. That's all so, it is. It could be the biggest surf club in the world because everyone loves surfing. Everyone loves ice cream. Oh yeah, it's this massive. could be huge. It's already it's already big in Japan. Do you have T-shirts, hats? <clears throat> We're working we on it. Okay, yeah. we got, you got. You but got, we just started a new club. What's that new club called? Uh, the Hot Cocoa Snowboard Club. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so they, they got it all dialed. Yeah, yeah, and so yeah, and you know what? It's a, uh, it's kind of fun, because I love how. I saw one time you put on Facebook or Instagram that Koa actually didn't want to surf. Oh, he still doesn't. Yeah, but he wanted ice cream. He loves ice and cream. And so he went out there and caught his waves. And done. Just so he can get an ice cream. <laughs> you know, and it's like, that he's, is cool. You know, he's, he's no the, dummy. Actually, he's the founder. Yeah, oh, he is? He's the founder, the CEO of the Ice Cream right. Surf Club. That's wow. perfect. He, um, <laughs> would, like, I'm on five waves, and he'd go out and get his five waves, and I was hoping that he'd get so stoked on his waves and surfing, and he'd just get his fifth wave and go straight to the beach and start making sandcastles again. I'm like... He's all, oh my God, dude, he's not really. <laughs> when you, but, it, but it's working. But he got five. Can but no, so, we do this yeah. every day. I know, but he times that by a year and, you, and 10 years and 20 years. Yeah. And, and he's, get, a, he's a match. Get 10, 20 pounds right. later of eating ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I had a question. I had to go to for, yoga then. Yeah, right. Okay, question for you. When you win Mavs this year, are you going to be having an ice cream on the podium? Oh, for sure, dude. Right? The big. I'm what, actually working. The flavor, on what kind of flavor would you get? What, what, what flavor would you have? I want like Ben and Jerry's chubby hubby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it. Your well, sponsor might disagree with that. They'd be well, like uh, I, butterscotch, I, I, yogurt. I, I, no, land. no, man. I was, <laughs> yogurt Land's got so many freaking. I know. I love toppings. the new flavors. I go to Yogurt Land every week. That's, That's why a, my wife. My wife and I do a date, and we go to Yogurt Land one day a week, every week, yep. and it's our happy place. Can I follow that up with? Since you're going to Yogurt Land, <laughs> and you're not going to Pilates, and you're becoming, you know, you're getting back to your. Uh, you know, you're hey, easy, Tiger. Happy self. Yeah. <laughs> this, portion <of> show, <laughs> this portion of show is brought to you by the Santa Cruz Challenge, TC, which you and I are doing. I heard. It's a structured 12-week <laughs> health and fitness program designed to inspire individuals to get excited about health, encourage people to find healthier food choices. It's yogurt land is healthy. Build community and provide incentives for individuals to reach the next level of fitness. It's a lifestyle and a consciousness. That'd be good for you. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, an adventure to explore your hometown. F fun to do with your spouse or a friend or perhaps meet new people. Get 50 bucks off registration. And when does it start? J uh, Feb, Feb 1. All we're right. on. The, yeah, we're, we're on. G uh, go to their terrific website. And so anyone put the coupon. Let me finish. Input the coupon code off the lip. No spaces. at s And just go to their website at SantaCruzChallenge.com. So people can join you and me on this challenge? Yeah. So yeah. anyone listening, like, yeah, hey, we're going to go hang out with the off the lip and do this challenge. Yeah. And hold, just, hold, hold on, hold and on. Are we going to yeah, work yeah. out? Well, what about you guys, like, what? washing cars and Speedos again? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Remember oh. we did that? That yeah. was so <laughs> awesome. I won, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> did you wash his car and Speedo? Nope. Like that? <laughs> he did not. <laughs> oh, I think we need to get a rebate. <laughs> and so whenever we have a challenge, I yeah. just go, yeah, whatever. What was the last challenge? I won the last one. What did I win? Uh, we didn't have. I forget. Yeah, we didn't have a deal Beer because you backed we out. We gotta of come the up. Last one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. We gotta come up with something hey, for this. Hey, guys, your age absolutely have no business having a six pack. What are you gonna do? <laughs> no, Just pull your shit up and show your six pack. I'm, I'm working like, on it. Twelve Look. pack. Yeah. In the bag. <laughs> that thing's tight as a rock. That thing is a rock. Hey, we, speaking of rock, we got Rocco on from Santa Cruz on line one. Nice, Rocco. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> nice. Uh, Rocco, what's up? <laughs> well, Rocco what's up, hasn't Rocco? called forever. What's up, Rocco? What's up? What's up, dude? Hey, am I on the radio? <laughs> you are on radio, you're on TV, you're on everything. What do you want to be on? Uh, <laughs> I like to be on speed, man, most of the time, but... Okay. <laughs> Rocco, family show, let's family keep it show. clean. Family show, Rocco, got kids here, Rocco. <laughs> Rocco. Oh, what are you, I, okay, I mean, Rocco, why are you... I'm going fast. I like going fast, man. Why are you calling? I'm actually calling from the lane parking lot, man. Sweet. How, how many RVs are parked there? Uh, just me and a couple of my buddies. Oh, so you're in an RV. Yeah. Hey, Skin Dog. <laughs> Skin Dog, we hang out like every day together. I know. You watch my car for me. Thanks, bud. <laughs> yeah, I 
got the I got the, the yellow R V with the with the tiger stripes. <laughs> and the six bikes on the roof. And this old beat up surfboard. Yeah. Rocco, you got my bike. Hey. Rocco, you got my bike, don't you? Uh, Rocco works yeah, hard. Probably, Rocco's probably out there not. working hard yeah. every day. Is he? Getting bikes. <laughs> Getting bikes. That's a lot hey, Rocco, we got to move along here, buddy. Thanks for giving us a call. Hey. God bless you. That Happy just, New Year. Not. That just reminds right. me. One, one question. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Ask him not a question. Sure. <clears throat> Can you bring me ice cream tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rocco. Oh, okay, my God. Right back up. It's a very so, short break. Don't go away. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> Can you bring me ice cream tomorrow? <laughs> oh, my God. Are we still in the air? I don't even know anymore. This is Brad Timmy. And Cleo from Cleo's Corner at Pono Hawaiian Grill. Featuring wraps, teriyaki bowls, plate lunches, amazing and creative salads, vegetarian and gluten-free options, and over 20 different types of poke, all made to order, fast, fresh, and healthy. And what's your favorite, Kaleo? Um, the chicken fingers. Located at 120 Union Street in downtown Santa Cruz. Call us for takeout at 831-426-PONO. Or check us out on the web at PonoHawaiianGrill.com. We put the ono in Pono. Hi, this is Steve Pereira, the beach guy at Bailey Properties in Santa Cruz, California. My wife, Diane, and I are experienced realtors who know and live at the beach, and we've been bringing the coast home to you since 1982. We'd love to help you sell or buy your slice of paradise here on the Santa Cruz coast. Please give the beach guy a call at 831-818-7064, or give Mrs. Beach Guy a call at 831-818-7064. 5939. Also, please drop into our website at lifesabeach.com and check out our available coastal properties. Remember, no one knows the turf. Near the surf, better. Cowabunga. Yeah, we're back with the Off the Lip Radio Show right here at KSCO. We're on Instagram. We are Facebooking. We tweet. We do the whole thing. In the studio tonight is. Are we still on TuneIn Radio? Tune in radio, we're on nice. iTunes. We're right now live streaming on Santa Cruz Waves.com. Our very mm. special guest tonight in studio is the one and only, the legendary Ayana, Ayana Collins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to thank yep. Sean Dollar, otherwise known as Rocco, for giving us a call. <laughs> it's funny, he brought up a pretty funny point. Like, I've seen all these RVs around, and yeah. for them to, you ever seen those, like, um, Crabs and they, they, they put de- they call them decorating crabs. They put stuff around them on. Themselves. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen these RVs. They they pick up old windsurfers and surfboards and put them on their RVs. Like, hey, I'm out here surfing. <laughs> right, and it's like a windsurf one from 1980. Yeah, 489 windsurf with that broken they nose. Took but yeah. out of somebody's <laughs> front yard. It's been the yard <laughs> ornament for about 20 years. Yeah, yeah. they just it's glue okay. it on the top of their RV and never <laughs> yeah. use it. Speaking of creepy Shuck RVs, my sharks? I just want to mention, oh. what's the RV with all the stuffed animals on it? That and guy. That, that creep? That I, guy's my neighbor. He's your neighbor? He lives in a nice house in Aptos. Who no, is that, dude? No, he's got a million dollar house in Aptos. He does not. I swear to God. He lives, he's right, right, right he's the street about from as me. fruity as Bozo the Clown, dude. I don't get him. If he lives in a million dollar house the ocean view in Aptos. All right, listen. If anyone listening knows what's going on with hey. the guy that has all the giant monkey okay. and stuff strapped to his... Congo, Congo monkey. Congo okay. monkey, yeah. We've got Jody here from Santa Cruz. Who could this be? Could uh, be Homer Hanard? Uh, who knows? <laughs> who could it be? That's the th- top three guesses who this oh may be. Oh, my God. I have no guess. It says Jody here. Who do you think it is? Let's find out. Jody. Congo for president. <laughs> oh, my God. She's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? Somebody drives around a lot. I've had way too many candy canes, so I don't know. Oh. That's right, Congo for president. Right, anyway, Congo for president. Anyway, I'm calling in for Anaya or Ayana. 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 What'd you say? What'd you say? Ayana. Yes. Yeah. I'm calling in for Ayana. Okay, go ahead. Ayana, how's it going? Going good. How's your winter break? It's amazing. Yeah, well, you she's... guys having a good time? Mm hmm. Man, so girl's... much for being about your dad. Let's have it be about you right now. Yay. Yeah, yeah sure. okay. I just have to say, I know Ayana, and she's an amazing artist and musician, and we are so proud of her. And Skin Dog and Anushka have an amazing um, daughter and son, Koa. We know Koa. What's up, Koa? <laughs> and Koa's, in, Koa's in, uh, he's in a little bit of trouble right now. He's standing in hey. the corner. 
you know what? Every kid should be in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, that's very true. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Anyway, we love you guys. Thanks, honey, for Happy calling. Year. Appreciate it. Ayana, you're a radio star right now. You look at her. She's sitting yeah, her back. Fans she's are confident. Yeah, she's got like, fan clubs. And she drove a car today. Oh, did she have a seatbelt on? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <How> old, okay, <laughs> eventually. Eventually. <laughs> are you excited about driving, Ayana? Yes. What yeah. kind of car are you going to get? Prius. Yes. Look at her go. Get it hooked up with She's Julie. Another client for Julie. Yep, Toyota Santa Cruz. There yep. you go. Pow. Another client. Um, and how old are you right now? 14 and a half. 14 and a half. Do, are, are you uh, have a work permit and working already? No. Do you want to work for your mom and dad? Maybe be Think a sub, about sub it. rep? She wants to be a jazz musician. She's going to be on the stage. No, she plays the sax like none other. In yeah. fact, you were in the winter parade, weren't you, at mm -hmm. downtown Santa Cruz? Yes. Killed it, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, do you, have, do you wear a really <coughs> tall hat? Yes. Does it ever fall off? I always ask that because how does it stay on that tall hat? Oh, it's a little hat? strap under the chin. Is it comfortable, the no. strap? It's no. not comfortable? Yeah, okay. I always wonder how they keep the hat on. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. really tough. Yeah. I was really impressed on the whole Santa Cruz High Band because uh, they, they have a long history. And every time I hear them at their musical, winter musical, they sound amazing. But at the beginning of the year, I heard them. I'm like, oh, my God. Are they going to sound that good? Within like two, three months, Mrs. Lantham gets those kids so razor sharp and so good and, and it's not even so much the music the music's really good too but them marching yeah it's military it's yeah. like straight up like every right. step in order and you're screaming at them and they don't look at you and i could never do that if you, and you as a parent do you help fund this where's the money come from to ha have bands i know there's music's always a problem in schools but are you do you put money into this but i know you got to buy a Music, oh, we put we put a lot into it. We property tax. <laughs> 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 they get you that way. But on top of that, um, my wife donates a lot of time, and she hangs out and gets like she's a booster parent, mm -hmm. and she goes and helps all the kids get their, um, their uniforms on, and and, and she puts in one hundred and ten percent whatever she can do with that. That's what we donate in there. But man, a lot of people donate, and I'll, I'll tell you what, that teacher is taught probably you know a hundred thousand kids in this community to how to play music and how to well it's a great lesson mind, in you know? life and iona are you gonna I, I mean you're playing music right now do you plan on playing music like, is this something you're gonna do the rest of your life well it's like surfing you do the rest of your life forever right i mean it's like riding a bike and is saxophone your deal or are you gonna start playing guitar or drums is, is it gonna stay <laughs> and be saxophone i don't know like it's fun to play different instruments instead of saying just one Fun to learn more and branch out, but she just started the drum line, so yeah. Can, oh, and then also too, it's time to practice music, but the waves are like head high and offshore. <laughs> what do you do? Surf. Ah. Ah. So you know what? Cause she, can do the, she can do the saxophone at night. You know, sun of goes course. down, sax comes out. No, I know. She got it covered. Uh, skin dog. Any bites on the house? Nah, we took it off the market. We're just kicking right now. Oh, you are? We're going to wait for it to get all hot in the springtime and drop it again. And bring it back up? Bring it back in. Okay, yeah, because it's a beautiful home. You live right on the west side. Yeah. Um, just yep. in from Mitchell's, and, uh, and you know, you're lucky. You're fortunate. Like I said, you've been able to work hard and be able to afford to live here in a, such a beautiful community that a lot of people can't, and it's based on working hard. And everyone thinks that, like, they're entitled to be here. Right. I think no. you have to work hard to yeah. be here, yeah. period. You know, yeah. it's, I think that's life. So. I hear that a lot. People come here in this, this. I mean, in all reality, Santa Cruz is like a 50% population being rotated in and out. You got the college students. You got the tech world. You got people coming and trying to live here. You got surfers that come and try to live here and do it. It's expensive. It and is. When I grew up, we used to get a room for like 140 bucks, And like you right. could just work two days as a busboy and you're good for the month. And like now it's like rooms are like, you know. 1100 bucks to have a room in a, in a house and right. it's like the cost like it's not you're not gonna have surf bombs in this town anymore it's like well i remember in 1984 <clears throat> my landlord i lived about four houses in from 36 avenue on the beach right there and he said i'll sell you this place for eighty eight thousand yeah, dollars and i was like that's a ripoff yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to fool me you know and i was like oh my gosh my you know? mom said the same thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah and so it's the, and, and i always say this we live where people vacation right and wherever you, it's going to cost. Yeah, yeah, wherever you live like that, if it's in Tahoe, Hawaii, right. or wherever, it's, it's not just going to cost. Be, if, you do, if you want to live somewhere where people don't vacation, go to Bakersfield. Yeah. You can buy a we house there to, for $88,000. We get to see the ocean every single day. You cannot right. take it for granted. What go up to see. Oregon right now. Yeah. You can totally get a house for pretty cheap. You're going to be getting rained on for the rest right. of the year. No, but we have a, we're have we blessed to be able to be here. And yeah. if you can make your niche, and uh, and like I said, Skin Dog, you've worked hard. You've earned it. No, well, one, no it, one gave it to you. I did not I did not want to get pushed out like a lot of people did. And so I just hustled. And me and my wife both work hard. And it's one of those things like – 
you don't see that on my Instagram. I'm not going to show you all the stuff I have to do all the time, but we're grinding all the time. Right. right. It's, I don't care because I'm also vacationing when I'm not working in my own town. Well, I know this firsthand because you and I have a personal relationship and we also have a business relationship and you take care of business. And, um, and again, you know, like you said, all these years of being with Volcom, um, I w I've been in sales as long or longer than you have, and you don't stay in sales unless you sell. Right. I got a question for Skinny. What's the, what's the ratio now for surfing for you? I know you've got, you got the family and you've got Volcom. <clears throat> I mean, is the, you know, the ratio getting smaller and smaller, smaller where, where surfing is a part of your life? Surfing's not like 24-7. If right. it's not even, you know, if it's, I mean, actually, it's, it's back up. This is the deal. I have kids in, like, Koa with Ice Cream Surf Club. I surf more than I've ever surfed in, on a flat summer than in my whole life. Right. Because he, when it's two foot, we're going out. And we always saw you at the point. I yeah. Saw you, I'm yeah. actually an east sider now. Like, right. they, were, they're yeah. all, they were all celebrating. I'm back. I'm moving over to Pleasure Point. And I would. I would live over there for, on, on, on. Pleasure Point, East Cliff Drive, on the front house. If I could for the next two or three years, just for my son, because it, and my daughter, because it's a it's a family friendly wave. Right. You know, the lane is so harsh. If it ain't the wave and the rocks, it's just this crowd is pretty lethal out there, and you have to be pretty darn good. It's a piranha pit where Pleasure Point. It's still pretty tough, but everybody's friendly and whatnot. Yeah. And That's different. There's like eight spots to surf in pleasure point and three spots to surf at the lane, you know, yeah, and it's, it's hard it's to act tough, tough yeah. on a two foot wave and kick people out of the water. I right. mean, it happens. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Nick yeah. lamb, Nick lamb kicked my brother out when it was two feet. Once. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, this is for you, buddy. You ready? ready? You ready? This is for you. This portion of the show is brought to you by this portion of the off the net radio show is brought to you by hot yogurt and aptos. Woohoo. Hot show. yogurt. Yeah, hot yoga. <laughs> oh, that's my spot. Who offer much? Just who offers so much more than just Bikram yoga? Right, like TC. You and I have struggled in there. You know what? I'm just gonna tell anybody. In place. I would tell all my friends, "Well, you go to Bikram yoga. That's so dumb." I go, "Hey, you know what? It's really awesome because there's like 15 chicks in barely any clothes, sweating their asses off." There you go. Whoa, guy. Yeah. Okay, they <laughs> it's have, a family it, radio show. They also have. It sucks. They also yeah, right. have what TC and I do: hot Pilates, hot kickboxing, power flow yoga, and barefoot boot camp. All. In a spotlessly clean 1,500 square foot studio, if you just want to try it, Skinny, they have a New Year special of $49 for unlimited classes for 30 days. It's a great spot. Check out Bikram Yoga Aptos. Bikram Yoga Aptos dot com. They kick your butt in one hour. You, I've seen Sherry in there. Yeah. You haven't been. She's like, TC's going to come. She's supposed to come today. Nah, no show. Hey. TC's supposed to come today. No show. Listen, I'm a retailer, dude. December. I disappear. Oh, my God. I actually feel sorry for you during the, that. <laughs> it's like you don't get no rest. The no. clock's off. You're still just like going a million miles. We'll be right hour. back. It's a very short break. Don't go away. You. One more crank call. <laughs> yeah, we need some more crank calls. Attention surfers and paddle boarders. Don't let cold water or cold air take you out of the water for five to six weeks. Protect your ear canals with custom-made earplugs. The Listening Stack in Capitola is now offering custom earplugs molded to fit your ears perfectly, comfortably protecting your ear canals from the harsh elements of the Pacific Ocean. Stop messing with universal earplugs that don't work and try something that does. Mention Off The Lip Radio and receive an extra $20 off any custom molded earplugs in our store. The Listening Stack is located at the corner of Capitola Avenue at 41st. The Listening Stack. Protect. Enhance. Enjoy. 831-498-9890. Hi, this is Jeff Wernerhalder from North Bay Ford. Proud to sponsor the Off the Radio Show. We're here to support the local surf community. With well, a full inventory of trucks, hybrids, and plug-in hybrids, come see why the F-150 has been the best-selling vehicle for 39 years. We have the perfect surf vehicle in stock, the new 2015 Ford Transit van. We have a model that will fit your needs. Come to the no-hassle, easy place to buy a car, no stress, no drama. We make it easy for everybody. We're locally owned, locally operated. North Bay Ford at 1999 SoCal Avenue or www.northbayford.com. Chill Out Cafe on 41st Avenue Santa Cruz is not just a block from some of the world's best surf, but it is also where you can go relax and order the tastiest grub before and after your sesh. Plump burritos, fresh salads, sky-high sandwiches, and a superb selection of hot and cold drinks. They have something for you. Go to ChillOutCafeSantaCruz.com to view their menu and to place your order to go, call 831-477-0543. Chill Out Cafe, where they roll the fatties. 
We're ready? back with the Off The Radio Show right here at KSCO. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, tweeting, and live streaming on SantaCruzWaves.com. Question Woo. right now. Our guest tonight in studio is Mr. Kenny Skindog Collins with his lovely daughter, Ayana, who's a future radio star. Yes. She's smooth, co- very cool, calm, and collected. Kelly Slater's wave in the middle of California. Oh, my God. We, are, you are you going? You going? Are you going? Surf club trip over there. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell you that... something. I got the inside scoop on that. You did on that, yeah, because I have a friend who's working on another wave pool project. There's one in mm. Russia that recently opened, and uh, Kelly Slater's wave pool. A wave only comes every 90 seconds, and if you, everybody has watched that video, and if you look at the beginning of Kelly Slater's video, there's a very glassy wave with light offshore winds. Well, that's the first wave. What's when the they, second when one? When they turned like? it on, right. It, they, they get progressively more choppy. Right. So, like, when you saw the wave where Kelly's surfing and it was kind of bumpy, well, that was the, the waves that came after it. So, okay. the, the, it's kind of, it, it's a little bit of a, of a you know, it, smoke and mirrors a little bit because right. that first glassy wave, well, right. that's when they turn it on in the morning. Right. What do you think, what do you think, Kenny? That first wave was shocking, though. You're looking at it going, oh, my God, they nailed it. And the fact is they can perfect it and make it bigger and make it, I mean, it would be nice if it wasn't in a mud puddle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they got that in some turquoise warm water. They're wearing a wetsuit. You're like, that's a wave <laughs> right. pool. It should be in board shorts <laughs> right. and a nice white sand beach somewhere. Well, the and idea the idea behind those is for money. It's a pay. It's a, you know, they want to they mm-hmm. create a model that they can put those in Vegas yeah. and they'll put it all over. It's Kelly. Kelly, wave, uh, Kelly Slater's wave company. You yeah. know, they're going to make this and, and install them in different For places. For sure. And the fact is, yeah. like, if you go to Tavarua and you can spend 4000 bucks and not get a swell. You're sitting right. fishing and, and, and hanging so, out with some people you don't care about. Right. But if this, yeah. you can go and nail one day there. It's like going on a snowboard trip. You're just well, like, my friend who's working on a different project, and I'm going to not say his <clears> name based on he, he told me not to, but his project, the way it works, it's $60 for a half hour, right? And you're guaranteed that you'll five waves are going to come. That's to you. what Henry Michel did. You know, we talked about Henry Michel. He was the vice principal at Harbor at Santa Cruz High. He did one in Dubai, right? Like five surfers, and you get to be pay like forty five yeah. bucks. And if you fall on your wave, well, you no rebate. You, yeah, you shouldn't have fallen. No, yeah. no rebate. No, yeah. you're yeah. you're done. But you're guaranteed. Yeah. Uh, no one's going to burn you. Five waves are going to come your way. You'll, you're guaranteed at least five waves. Now, you can catch more if somebody falls and you turn around and go. Did you hear about what Sean Dollar's doing? No. Right. He's actually got a big wave one coming out. It's, <laughs> it's yeah. going to be a 50-footer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, it's going to be like a 68-footer. He He's going to break the record? He's going to break the record on his own wave pool. With lifeguards? <laughs> <laughs> they hook it up to the Hoover Dam. It's a giant yeah. wave. Just send a massive wave. Sean Dollar's wave pool. Yeah. Yeah. Who was Sean Dollar tonight? Well, who was he? What was his name? Rocco. Rocco. Yeah, That's Rocco. right. Rocco. Yeah, yeah. 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 Rocco's He's wave pool. Rocco's well, wave pool. I got to give it up to Slater and his, his group because they managed to keep it a secret. And for one day, they actually kept the location a secret. Right. It's in the but middle of nowhere, right? It's, it's out in Lemoore. Sarah, it's yeah, in Lemoore. Sarah. Yeah, it's in Lemoore. It's out there on Highway 90, off 99. And, uh, but the, 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 there was a building in the background. And the, 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 what I heard is that people just went on Google Earth and yeah. just, like, <laughs> scoped everywhere and found that building. Right. And then next to it, there's this pond right. that looks like a runway. Yeah. And that's the way. Think about it, it, though. If they actually made that thing, say, half a mile on some blue water, eight foot. You like, kill it. Right. I would pay a hundred bucks for yeah. two or three yeah. waves. I think it's a great, um, I think it's good because it really pushes the envelope of what the potential is yeah. with this. Because wave pools have always sucked. And uh, and to see Kelly get four barrels on a wave pool. 360 air, that has yeah. enough juice to do that. It's exactly, gonna, yeah. It's really going to change the world. Right. If you really actually think about it, if you can get a bunch of 10-year-olds out there, you could have, like, they're going to do that for the Olympics. Surfing well, will be an Olympic yeah. sport. It's, so. it's North Shore all over again. Yeah, <clears throat> we're really going to have some dude from Arizona go to and win pipe now. Okay, you guys are going to give a Yana, <laughs> a Yana, a Yana. Mm-hmm. Do you want to say you want to say hi to anybody? Any you know, teachers or friends while or, you're on the radio? Or young boys? If these guys friends? are talk. These guys are talked enough. Yeah, these guys <laughs> can talk. A shout out. Yeah, a little shout out to some pals. Also had a koa. <laughs> Why? He beat the he beat the crap out of you. I Why? Talk to him. Huh? I want to talk to him. What do you want to talk? Oh, is this a message? Mm-hmm. You want to talk to him when you get home, huh? Mm-hmm. Tell him that right now. <laughs> Koa, you're done. <laughs> That's her shout out. No That's shout out to some friends. One <laughs> shout out. Koa, yeah. I'd go to bed right now. Yeah, if I were you, I'd be <laughs> hiding in the shed. Yeah. Huh? Good night, Koa. I'd get in the Vulcan board bag. <laughs> huh? Disappear. Koa's in a lot of trouble. Is he shaking right now, do you think? No way. No. He's, he's already forgot about it. Well, he's I, for- every time I see Koa, he's got like two dogs, and he's holding them like footballs, and he's running yeah. around the house. That's yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll do a big shout out to the Du Bois. Yeah, Du Bois. Yeah, we're, we're uh, there's, there's a new company, Du Bois Productions. Okay, what's that? What's that about? Uh, Torpedo and Sean Dollar and the boys are making a new movie and a book. Okay, a clothing line. Very nice. nice. Well, it seems like uh, you guys have created a group of dudes here in Santa Cruz that are having a lot of fun. Whether you're doing a a Costco surfboard contest or oh, whatever yeah. it is. The, you guys are having fun. Du Bois production did the Costco yeah. surf no, challenge. That's yeah. great. I, du I Bois awesome. also did the Pleasure Point Halloween surf contest. Right. Yeah. I we, love it. Then we ran a little. Volcom helped out and we did du Bo- Who's Du Bois yeah. at the lane. Right. You and know what's funny about the Who's Du Bois at the lane? Nat Young did it and he would have won it if he would have followed our format. But he's all, we should have a final. And we're all right, whatever. Let's do a final now. And Austin Smith Ford. One. Yeah, Austin Smith Ford was that boy. Really quickly, Rick from Capitola, make it quick, Rick, because the end of the show is right here. What's up, Rick? You Fro- there? Frosty? Yeah, yeah. This is uh, Rick O'Shea from the Capitola Department of Motor Vehicles calling in. <laughs> nice. Hello. Make it How snappy. Make it snappy, Rick. We got the end of the show right on us. Well, I just uh, got a phone call earlier. Uh, somebody happened to be listening to the show, and we heard that. Uh, uh, Kenny Collins had his daughter driving on uh, public streets without her learner's permit. <laughs> it's actually a parking lot. It was private property. Well, the parking lot is still uh, a public space, and uh, this is actually a pretty serious offense. Going to have to have you guys come down to the DMV office tomorrow to with, clear this up. Yeah, with COA. And money. Well, you bring COA. We'll definitely take care of COA. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rick. Thanks, Rick, buddy. Appreciate that. You'll, they'll see you tomorrow at the DMV. They'll be in line. That was Definitely one of, see you at the DMV or we'll come find you. You got it, buddy. <laughs> that Thanks, was man. one of Dub Boys. Dub this Boys. This portion of the show is brought to you by Star Benny. TC and I usually go eat at Star Benny right after the show. Yes, sir. Unbelievable food. Chicken piccata. The best. Spaghetti carbonara. Yep. If you look, you run a diet, do not go to Star Benny. They ain't got nothing there. Dietary. Jeff Winterholder coming tonight? Uh, Jeff Winner did text, but he's not coming tonight. He's <laughs> got right. something going on. I've got to re- reply. we got to reply to him. All right. But I thank Kenny Skin Dog Collins for coming on the show. Always. Yes. It's always fun. Ayana, always a blast. Having great me. job tonight. Ayana. Yeah. Fantastic. You think about radio, dear. Yeah. Oh, yeah you are sure. a natural. Stardom. She's cool, calm, and collected. Rosemary Chalmers in the morning show. Watch out. Right. And, Ayana by the coming. way, we'll see everybody next year. See everybody next year. Tomorrow night, listen to the Our Local, my Our Local show. We have Santa Cruz Mayor Cynthia Matthews on the air tomorrow night. See you next week. Good night. From Capitola to Carmel, Red Hot News Talk, AM 1080, KSCO Santa Cruz. News. I'm Jim Taylor. 56 weather-related deaths, the latest in Missouri. So far, there have been 13 deaths in Missouri, most of those from people who are driving through water rushing across the roadway. The governor of Missouri, Jay Nixon, has declared a state of emergency. In some places, water is up to the rooftops of houses. In Union, Missouri, the Burbis River is expected to reach an all-time high. KMOV television reporter Russell Kinsall, mayor of Union, Missouri, Mike Livingood, says this is the largest flood in more than 30 years. Yeah.